Hey there, Kiss Army. It's your resident rock and roll journalist here, and I've got some news to share with you today that might feel like a blast from the past. Remember the Vinnie Vincent Invasion, the band formed by ex-Kiss guitarist Vinnie Vincent back in the 80s? Well, it turns out they've officially called it quits. Again. Now I know what you might be thinking. Didn't the invasion break up decades ago? And you'd be right. But in recent years, there had been rumblings of a potential reunion, with Vinny himself hinting at the possibility in interviews and online forums. Fans were cautiously optimistic, hoping to see the band recapture some of that old magic they brought to albums like their self-titled debut and All Systems Go. Sadly, it seems that the same issues that plagued the band in the 80s have reared their ugly head once more. According to former members Mark Slaughter and Dana Strum, Vinny's ego and controlling nature made it impossible for the reunion to move forward. We really wanted to make this work, they explained in a joint statement. But in the end, we realized that Vinny hasn't changed, and we just couldn't put ourselves through that again. It's a disappointing outcome, but one that's not entirely surprising given the band's history. Even at the height of their success, the invasion was known for its tumultuous internal dynamics, with Vinny's perfectionism and need for control often clashing with the other members' desire for a more collaborative approach. Still, it's hard not to feel a sense of nostalgia for what might have been. The Invasion's music, with its blend of shredding guitars, pounding drums, and soaring vocals, was a quintessential example of the glam metal sound that dominated the 80s. Songs like Boys Are Gonna Rock and Love Kills showcased Vinny's incredible technical skill as a guitarist, while also highlighting the powerhouse vocals of Mark Slaughter. For a brief moment in time, it seemed like the invasion might be poised for superstardom. They opened for the likes of Alice Cooper and Iron Maiden, and their debut album earned critical acclaim for its high-octane sound. But behind the scenes, tensions were already starting to boil over. In many ways, the story of the Vinnie Vincent invasion is a cautionary tale about the dangers of unchecked ego in the world of rock and roll. As much as we might admire Vinnie's talent as a musician, it's clear that his inability to collaborate and compromise with others has been a recurring theme throughout his career. It's a shame, because when the invasion was firing on all cylinders, they were a force to be reckoned with. Their music had a raw, unbridled energy that was impossible to ignore and they seemed poised to take the world by storm. But as with so many other bands before and since, the weight of their own internal conflicts eventually became too much to bear. So while it's disappointing to hear that the Vinnie Vincent Invasion reunion has fallen apart, perhaps it's for the best. Sometimes, it's better to cherish the memories of what was than to try and recapture a moment in time that has long since passed. And who knows? Maybe someday Vinny will find a way to make peace with his past and collaborate with other musicians in a way that doesn't end in acrimony and disappointment. Stranger things have happened, especially in the world of rock and roll. But for now, let's just crank up those old Invasion albums and remember the good times. Because in the end, that's what it's all about. The music that brings us together and makes us feel alive, no matter how much time has passed. Stay tuned, Kiss Army. There's always more rock and roll stories to come. In the meantime, keep on shredding and remember, the invasion may be over, but the spirit of glam metal lives on forever.